the never ending question. VidIQ or TubeBuddy, which one should I get? And I'm gonna be honest with you, I still have both. Any of you that have been following me know that I've done other videos about comparing different features. And I kept thinking that I had to decide on one or the other. But to be honest, I am still using both. And there are certain features that I love about each one. And there's some things that they both do. You have to decide what it is that you want. But let me show you that each of them do make thumbnails and I'm going to go through the process on each one and then as I'm speaking I will point out something I like about vidIQ that TubeBuddy doesn't have and I'll show you something about TubeBuddy that I love that I haven't seen on vidIQ now please if I make a mistake somebody knows more than I do let me know in the comments <laughs> correct me I know people love to do that anyway it's not a problem um because I don't know everything but I'm going to share with you what I have been doing when I make my thumbnails because sometimes you're trying to capture uh, one of the the sometimes you're trying to capture one of those frames in your video as your thumbnail and I can remember before I would be playing it and then trying to stop it and capture it and then I used my little snippet tool I did it the long way there's an easier way to do it and there's a very very easy way that you can capture that if, if that's what you want to use so let's go ahead into my in this video I purposely made some faces and things so that we would have something to capture okay so obviously there's one that YouTube decided to make as my thumbnail but as you can see I can go down here and choose something else if I would like and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you how to create your own thumbnail now this is all vidIQ we're in vidIQ right now and right here it'll say create thumbnail right above your choices that you have here so go ahead and click that when you get vidIQ it's, it's an extension it's a Chrome extension and when you get it you're just going to upload it into Chrome and it's going to go under your extensions and I can show you that in this video as well um, how you can turn it on and turn it off if you want to okay now let's say the thing I want to show you here is I know you can go to Canva you can go to get stencil you can go to all these other places but here I want to show you how easy it is to capture your frame your picture of yourself and this is what I really like about it but there I am okay but if you go over here to these arrows I can just start selecting one of these um, I'm gonna go ahead and start playing let's turn off the audio and instead of playing gosh I can start clicking the arrow and it will just very slowly start changing and it is a process but you know maybe you have something on your tooth or maybe you have a gap in your teeth and you don't want that to show when you smile you're your own worst critic you are going to dissect yourself until there's nothing left of you okay so you know little tiny things is what's going to keep popping up So I'm going to stop and then hit the frame and then this little frame see how it's moving just ever so slightly until I catch the picture that I want and you know sometimes my mouth's open sometimes your eyes are closed sometimes you're making a stupid looking face and maybe you're trying to catch that maybe you're trying to catch a silly face and that's fine but my point is you don't have to play the video if you do it this way and play the video and go Oh, I like that. I like how I'm pointing. Okay, stop. But maybe I don't like the way my mouth is making that look. So maybe I want to point, but not quite have that face. So I can um, hit this arrow key and it will change by the frame. See, 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 see? And my eyes are looking up and I don't really want that. So maybe that's not the picture I want. But here we go. And, and when I find that frame that I want, I can stop. But I love how I can just choose one little, one little segment at a time. Now we're going to pick something really fast just for the sake of this. Okay, after that, you're going to go to next. And I'm not going to make a thumbnail. I'm just showing you the features because you know how to make a thumbnail, okay? But in here, I can choose text. I can choose shapes that I want to add. I can choose other images if I want to bring those in. Um, 
and I can bring in emojis, okay? There's an emoji button here as well. And anything that I choose, I can add that to my frame. So we're just gonna add a, an emoji. See that? And they're all, yeah, I can put them all over the frame if I want. Then I go to the next button. Now remember, I can put my text there as well. I can then edit it for YouTube, I can edit it for Facebook, and I can edit it for Twitter. So I can start making, um, use that same picture and make it for all three of these places, okay? So we're gonna, we're just editing for YouTube, and then here I can save it. So I can hit YouTube and save it, then I can hit Facebook and save it, and then I can hit Twitter. So if you have a certain quote that you wanna put on there um, as part of your thumbnail, you can kinda of use the same thing in three different places. So that's how we use it in vidIQ, okay? So that's how basic it is. Now, one of the features that I absolutely love in vidIQ, and I've said this before, I don't believe them, um, TubeBuddy has it. I haven't seen it. I've got both and I haven't seen it. But right here at the top of my screen, I can find my analytics right away daily and instantly. And this is running live. And I love this because I am a new channel. I am growing and it's exciting to me to see it grow. Um, so for me, that's a big deal. It may not be for you. You may have had so many subscribers, it doesn't even matter anymore. But that's one thing that vidIQ has. It's on top, it's on the front of every one of my pages. I can go in any place in my YouTube channel. I can be working on anywhere, videos, analytics, anything, and that's always up there for me to see. So I always keep one tab open. Another thing I like about vidIQ is typically, let me start typing in some tags. And this is what vidIQ does too that I really like. Um, what is it? Um, how to create a thumbnail, okay? That's my keyword. Now what vidIQ will do, I always put my title in first. That's just something I was taught to do. vidIQ will pick out three major recommended tags for you to use and they'll show you how popular they are. Anything over 50%, that's really good. So these are great tags and I could add them just by clicking the plus button. Now, if you want more than that, you wanna upgrade. On vidIQ, I have the base, the pro account, the basic account. I did not um, upgrade it. Um, everything that it has right now are things I'm using and I've been very satisfied with it. So, and I think I, I pay it by the year, it's like $90 a year, it's not really expensive. But anyway, that is how you make a thumbnail and those are two features that I really like a lot. Now, we're gonna, come back and I am going, let me show you how I turn this off because I told you I would show you that. So right now I have vidIQ turned on. I'm gonna go over here to extensions and I'm gonna turn TubeBuddy back on and I'm gonna turn vidIQ off. So you can turn your uh, different extensions on and off by going into your tool extension. And let me show you how I did that because I didn't bring you all the way through. Let me go through back to the beginning. Um, you go up here to that little uh, three dots and go under more tools and then go under extensions and that brings you to this page okay now I have my TubeBuddy turned on and I have vidIQ turned off I'm going to go ahead and refresh because we're going to use the same video but now you're going to see it says changes aren't saved that's fine we don't need the changes now you're going to watch and that little um, thing at the top is going to disappear and instead I'm going to have a TubeBuddy the TB up here in the top right hand corner and I can use that instead. All right, so how do I do the thumbnails? It's same thing, it says create thumbnail, but now I'm creating it using TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy gives me a selection right away. It says, do you wanna use a still from your frame? Do you wanna use a solid color or an image? So they allow you to pull that in right away. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use the still frame again, and it does the exact same thing as the other one as far as using these little arrows to the right, and I can pick which still frame I wanna use. Now, if you like to use still frames a lot, one of the things I recommend you do, as you can see, is make some faces. Um, you can always cut that off of your video um, later, or, or maybe use them in the beginning. I know one guy, um, I was going through some training, and he said he always starts out his video making a funny face and is hoping that you know YouTube will catch it. Um, but here we go again. 
and I can go through the still frame and it just it moves slowly look at my hand moving very very slowly I mean you are literally you know just clicking this one frame at a time now we're not going to sit here and do that all day again because it's the same as before now I'm going to hit continue I have text I can add more images shapes frames emojis and templates so you see a lot of it is very very similar just done differently so let's add our emoji again because that's always a fun thing to add and there you go ah, there you go how's that all right and then we continue and what they do in TubeBuddy which is a little bit different is it compares you to other people so I had the word demo for thumbnails so I can automatically see who are other people that have made demos for thumbnails and I can see what mine looks my thumbnail looks like up against theirs and as you can see mine's different I was not making it to compete but I want to show you that with TubeBuddy right away they're going to bring that up and show you what you're up against so basically they're both the same except TubeBuddy gives you that extra step in the thumbnails and this is actually the one I tend to use because of that now can I go Google thumbnails absolutely and get that information that way as well now the difference though um, here's a preview and I can do the same thing I can go to YouTube I can prepare it for FaceTube or Facebook and I can also prepare it for Twitter so same thing I can use it in all three places and then I can save and publish now I'm going to show you something else that those are your comparisons of the two so they're basically the same TubeBuddy just has that one extra feature that vidIQ does not have when you're making your thumbnails but otherwise they're pretty much the same so if you're, you have vidIQ you can still use it I'm not trying to um, talk you out of keeping it obviously I'm just trying to show you some of the the features now one of the features I love about to buddy and I've been using this a lot lately and I want to show it to you because I promised you I would show you a feature of each that the other one does not have okay what I did is I went back to my video page um, I went back into um, YouTube www.youtube.com I went back to my video page and one of the things I want you to look at is up here at the top bulk meta actions bulk card actions bulk end screen actions and miscellaneous tools why would you need bulk action so let's say you've been with YouTube you've been making videos for a year and you're going to find that something that you made a year ago compared to now is your quality is going to be a lot better because you that's just human nature you get better at what you do and you might not like some things that you've done or maybe you had some links that you were using that you're not using anymore let's say that you got a new website um, address you you started out using a logo with a name and now you want to use your own name or vice versa so how do you go back and change all of that well maybe you have three or four hundred videos or maybe only a hundred videos you could open up every single one and go in and change it or you can use the bulk meta actions right here in titles and descriptions if you select that you can go here and find a text and then replace it with something else now I think I've already done this um, so I don't think it is is find my old website replace it with the new website and I'm going to hit continue and it's going to say do you want to go through only the last 50 videos or all the videos I'm going to go through all and then it will go through and find them it's probably not going to find any because I've really been using this a lot and cleaning up some of my links um, but that's something that you can go in and change or let's say that you want to make sure all of your end screens are similar that you want to make sure you know how at the end of the video people will say bye and then they have some of their different videos that they've made show up maybe you want you have one that really has been going viral and everybody loves it and it's been really popular maybe you want that to be at the end of every single one of your videos you can go in and say change all you end screens and replace them with this instead so very easy to do you can also go in and change your cards if you want to but you can do it by bulk editing and I love that feature I use it all the time yeah there isn't any in there because I've already done this but then you hit it'll say um, there's nine that came up and then you'll click them and then you continue and it'll change them but there's nothing here all right so um, like I said I've been doing that all right so that hopefully that will help you decide which one you want to use or both I'm not trying to talk you into both I'm just trying to show you that some features are the same 
and you can, you know, that's great. And there are some features that are different. I will probably make more videos of the features because I always get a lot of comments and feedback. A lot of people are interested. I probably am leaning towards keeping both of them because I really like both of them. And I know uh, some other big YouTubers have said the same thing. I know um, Daryl Eves has said that he uses both and I'm pretty sure Nick Nimmin does too. And they're both huge YouTubers and they talk about YouTube all the time. So hopefully that'll help you as well. Make your decision. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I check them and I will reply. And in the meantime, you check out each one. The links are below. If you want to check them out, there's a free trial. You can go in and start using them. Use them at the same time. Get your two trials and I showed you how you can turn them on and off and play with them and see what the features are and which features that you want to use for your channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.